What's up guys, I'm that diabetic guy Vaughn and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to tame bulb dogs, where to find bulb dogs, and how to use their special abilities as well as highlight what they do. So the best place to find bulb dogs would be in Fertile Lake 3 area, as you can see behind me. Um, you can find them on the lower plains and the upper plains of this region. I'll post a uh, GPS and map marker for you here. So, once you found one of these guys, you're ready to tame them. The uh, method for taming of these guys is to passive tame. Uh, it requires aquatic mushrooms. This is the uh, what will give you the best taming effectiveness. Um, essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to get the aquatic mushrooms and put them on your hotbar in the last slot. And once you've done this, you simply walk up to the bulb dog, push Y or E for PC players, and I believe it would be triangle for uh, PS4 players. And uh, it simply passively feeds the bulb dog and once you fed him enough times he will now be yours also if you're unaware of how to get aquatic mushrooms it's very simple you just got to look for these mushrooms they are all over aberration and just simply pick them up and you'll get a shit ton of them and be ready to passive tame a bulb dog all right guys so this is actually the uh, interesting part of this video here that I want to show you guys. Um, so basically with these guys, they have the uh, passive ability to uh, toggle their light on and kind of be like a light source. So I'll show you that quickly. So they're just like typically a light source for you, just like how a torch would be and you run around with him and basically he lights up the room everywhere you go. But this isn't, this isn't the really interesting part that I wanted to show you guys. The cool part is these two functions right here. So we got enemy player detection and we got uh, max level wild creature detection. And basically what this is, is it, um, if an enemy is going to run up on you, uh, no matter where you are on the map, and you have this little guy, oops, disable that, and you have this little guy on your shoulder, he will actually glow red and there will be an icon in your bottom right hand corner with a mask that's red as well. And uh, I'll get to that in a second. I'll kind of demonstrate what that looks like. Um, but then he also has the other one, the uh, wild creature detection. So the way this works is when you have him running on your, on your shoulder and you're running around, um, instead of getting a red glow, you get a yellow glow. And you also will get a yellow mask in your bottom right-hand corner. And I'll show you that, guy, um, that as well. Um, but basically, um, the way it works is the, it's, it's based on radius. So, if you look in here, he has uh, three different, um, you know, unique skills or, or attributes, uh, whatever you want to call them. Um, he has the charge capacity, he has the charge regeneration, and then he has the charge uh, emission range. Now, the emission range is what's going to be that radius on uh, when you pick up if an enemy is near you or if you get a maxed uh, dino. And uh, when I say max dino, that's level 150. Nothing less and nothing more. It, it will only pick up max level 150 dinos. So just to talk about this charging mission range, a um, little strategy on that is uh, you not, you're not going to necessarily want to have the charging mission range, uh, range super high, um, especially uh, for doing wild level dinos because if you have that emission way too high, you're basically going to be shooting for a needle in the haystack. That that emission range, um, I believe I had it tested at 212 uh, percent, was the uh, range of 35 foundations wide in in a, in a radius. So it's pretty uh, big, even at low. So I mean, it might be beneficial if you're doing I don't know, um, creating a bulb dog and simply using it for uh, PvP purposes. If you are out in the wild and you want to know if there's an enemy even remotely close to you, I mean, you might want to bump a little bit into charge re, uh, emission range. But uh, I generally would want to keep that low because I want to know how, I want, I want enemies to um, be very close to me as well as max team dinos in order to be able to better find where they are as opposed to having a huge emission range and having literally no idea. That kind of defeats the purpose really of these bald dogs. And uh, then you got, again, charge regen. And this is simply um, how quick he's going to regen uh, regenerate the batteries uh, that essentially he has 
in, uh, in being able to use these uh, charges for either the mission range or his light bulb or the max dino. And uh, then up here we have charge capacity. I don't, you know, typically uh, mess with this. Like if you tame a max level uh, bulldog, I mean the the max charge is, is pretty good on them. But uh, the the way it does work though is you have to have the pet toggled on in order for this to work. And uh, and as I was saying, I, 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 you know what? I'm just gonna hop right into that segment and, and show you guys exactly what it is that I'm how to use it. All right, so this part's cool as shit. Um, grab your uh, bulb dog, make sure that you turn his light on, and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just pretend like you're running around, and he picks up on the scent of a level 150 dino in the area of where I'm at right now. He also gives off a little bark, so if you're not in third person, and uh, you, you don't actually notice uh, the glow because you're not third person, or if you don't see the um, bottom right hand corner uh, mask pop up, that bark, will kind of uh, be the significant factor that lets you know that there is something around and uh, you can toggle third person at that point or look down to see if the mask is yellow or red to uh, identify if it's an enemy or if it's actually just a wild dino. Um, but let me show you the um, other part now. So again, just like before, you're going to toggle his light on and you're going to pick him up and go into third person and um, I had my girlfriend go and hide somewhere. Um, I'm assuming she's up here in the rocks anyhow. Um, but what happens is, like before, he'll give a bark just to signify that there's something in the immediate proximity and he will glow red on his antenna to signify that it is an enemy and you will get the red mask in the bottom right hand corner. And like I explained before, yellow is dino, red is person and this is the way that you can determine what is actually uh, immediately near you and it's very useful um, especially when people are trying to troll you um, or you're just unaware of what's around you and all of a sudden BAM he starts flashing red and there's someone there or BAM he flashes yellow and holy shit we got a max team dino somewhere in the uh, proximity so Anyways guys, that's it for this video. If uh, if I miss anything or if you guys have any cool tips or uh, tricks using the bulb dogs, please throw it in the comment section. Um, I'd love to hear about uh, what they are. And uh, yeah, if you guys haven't checked out my channel guys, please do. Um, if you like what you see, throw a like. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe to my channel. Anyways, till the next time guys. Peace.